could start your pilgrimage here at the Spanish Gate, right at the edge of the town of St. Jean Pied de Port. You can definitely start your Camino here. This is the Pilgrim Office in St. Jean Pied de Port, France. What's your name? My name is Pierre. Hi, Pierre. Okay. So you're from Paris? Paris. And you started walking from where? From Paris. And so we came uh, walking. Uh, wow. So 1,300 and today will be uh, 1,370 kilometers. kilometers. And how many days has it taken you? So we started the 1st of April. So we are at our se uh, 57th stage. Uh. You can start your Camino right here in Rosas Valle, Spain. A lot of the Spaniards start right here. And then you've got 790 kilometers or 755 kilometers. Leticia, where did you start your Camino? In Le Puy en Velay. And how long have you been walking? Today it's 54 days. <laughs> and where are you going to stop? Maybe in Santiago. Santiago! Um, yeah. If you haven't figured out by now, you can start your Camino anywhere. We've shown you, you can start in Le Puy. You, and oh, there's several other cities in France also that have Camino absolutely. starting points. We started in saint jean pied de port France. You can start in Roncesvalles, Roncesvalles, which is where most Spaniards start. The next bit. And many people also start in Pamplona, Burgos, Burgos, or Leon. Exactly. Those are the biggest cities like to get a train or bus to to start your Camino. A lot of Europeans will come and just walk a week. Your starting point is most often determined by how long you have to walk. So figure out how much time you have and then how many days you're going to be able to walk in that amount of time. Whatever you do, just start your Camino as soon as you can. Don't make it a bucket list item. Book it. Take an adventure with us Take an adventure with us Life's not a drag, let the cat out the bag No time to worry or fuss Try a new menu or wine We'll always have a good time Whether it's RVs or hiking Kayaks or biking Take an adventure, take an adventure, take an adventure with us. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm Michelle. And we are cruising with the Colmans. We are coming to you today from Saint Jean Pied de Port, France. So this is where we are starting our Camino Francis, and it's probably where a good number of Americans, at least, and English speakers start because most of the American and English guidebooks start here in St. Jean, but it is not where you have to start your Camino. No, honestly, on the Camino, there's no such thing as have to start, just like on the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian Trail, you can start wherever you want. We've done a week-long trip on the AT, we've done day things, so you can start wherever you want. So many people, and probably the vast majority of pilgrims arriving in Santiago, actually start their walk in Soria, Spain, which is 100 kilometers from the end, and it's the minimum amount that you have to walk. And you gotta watch this whole series because then you'll see Soria and where the crowds will really pick up uh, on the Camino. So, so you can start your Camino anywhere you want. But do I have to start at a certain time? You can start any time you want. Certain the, day. The Camino's open year round. Year round. You may not be able to go over the pass that we're, you're gonna see here in this video, but you you can start it at any point. And if you if this, the pass is snow covered, you can just go around it. There's another path as well. The Camino's open year round. There's no official start date. There's no official starting time. There's no starting line, if you will. And that means there's no ribbon across at the end. So we are gonna go explore St. Jean Pied de Port tonight strap on our backpacks tomorrow morning and start walking to Orison.
stay and staying here at Maison Simonier. We'll write it down there just in case I mess it up, but come on, check it out. It's a bit of a mess, but we have a bathroom. What we like about this private room and private bathroom on a rest day is that you can sleep in, you don't have to worry about getting up and getting dressed to go to the bathroom. It's just privacy. I think we've slept about 18 hours in the last 24 hours. This is it, our messy room. We each have our own bed. We have a little bench, which is basically all just being taken up with stuff. Unfortunately, we did get a room right on the main street. This is the Citadel Street, and it's very, very noisy. Fortunately, we were so tired it didn't matter. Well, it's noisy as in just a lot of people, people. not uh, Trucks. traffic too much. We heard a guitar for a good couple hours this afternoon, helped Brian sleep. And there was a trumpet last night at one point. Good morning. Good morning. It is day number one. We are at the cathedral in St. Jean Pied de Port, and we're starting our Camino. We are. We are fully rested. As a matter of fact, last night I was like, if we could go now, I'm ready to go. We've rested so much. <laughs> but I will say, don't shortcut that rest day. It is a good thing to have. It's about 62 degrees. Got a chance of showers today. Yeah, so. it's overcast today. I'm hoping that the clouds will break at least a few times to give us our views. But I just hope there's not fog when we get to the top. <laughs> but if not, you know what? We're here, we're doing it, and we're excited. All right. So if you watched last summer, you heard me say andiamo all summer long, but that was in Italy, so that's not going to work anymore. We're in France right now. We're in only, France. Only for a minute. Only for today and tomorrow. So, vamos. Let's go. We're about five kilometers in. You're not hearing much from us today. About halfway to Orison. You can't, we're not able to talk too much because it is straight up. Yeah, we started way down up. there somewhere. We don't really see St. Jean from here. No. But it's way back there at the bottom of the valley. Every pilgrim is just kind of one step in front of the other. Put one foot in front of the other. We're just going forward. And that's what today and tomorrow really are all about is just getting through the Pyrenees. It's a good, um, I don't know, breaking in. Sure. Uh, get your hiking legs back if you didn't have them already or you haven't had them since you finished your last big hike. And uh, it's really muggy, really humid. Yeah, it's very muggy. And there's no food stops between St. Jean Pied de Port and Orison. If you're, even if you're not stopping in Orison, you can get lunch there. Um, but there are no stops, so you have to make sure you bring some. We brought a couple pro bars um, with us, and those are helpful. And we Specifically bought, for these first two days. Yeah, we brought them. We don't, we're not carrying much food because there's food all along the way, but we knew these two days there, weren't gonna, there wasn't going to be much food at all. So we all right. snacked. We recharged. We talked to you. Vamos. We can't, we can't prolong it any longer. We are in the switchback section of this trail today. There are eight of them. We finished six. And when they put switchbacks on a trail in Europe, it's a really steep trail. This so they don't like them. The switchbacks are almost as steep as a staircase. Oh yeah, there's a lot of leaning forward. You're uh, you're stretching out your Achilles, and um, but it's hard. Right above Michelle's head, at the bottom of the valley, you can see Saint Jean Pied de Port, where we started this morning. So we've come up all of that so far. We've walked six kilometers. We've got two to go. It's not a bad walk distance wise. It's just very steep. So you have to be able to say, I'm gonna go slow and steady. There are a lot of people that start and they go all the way to Roncesvalles and Props more, to you. more power to them. But we prefer take it a little slower in the beginning because your body is adapting to what's going on.
night we stayed at Refuge Orison and we asked for a private room. Last time we stayed in a private room that was right down there where you just were looking. Those windows right there. This time, I feel like we were... It's called Chalet Number One or go. Chalet Un. We'll show you inside. Pretty simple accommodation. Just a bed and yeah. two power outlets. The downside to this uh, room is the bathrooms are down that hill in the middle of the night aren't very fun. Bonjour from Aura Sun. Good morning. We're going uphill already. So I'm breathing heavy. You can see Aura Sun back there in the background. We have this beautiful sunrise over the Pyrenees Mountains. Hi Declan. Hi guys. And, We've uh, got an 11 mile day. 17.1 kilometers. By the way, we're saying everything in kilometers because that's what all the signs and the guidebooks go by. So I'll always put the translation down below for miles and feet, all those things. Climbing another 800 meters. Which is a lot. Like that too. Down there, see? Um, so uh, before we get any more out of breath climbing this hill, <laughs> It's going to be a good day, but it's going to be a rough one. We're going to sign off. Vamos. Let's go. A newer albergue that has shown up, it's in uh, the Moon Guidebook, which we're using, is this albergue. It's a kilometer further than Orison. But you can see, you can't even see it. So it's a little off the Camino. Probably has great views. It's probably just right over that hill. Yeah, but um, it's another option with you don't want to, if you don't want to stay at Orison, and that way you have two different places that you can stay instead of walking all the way to Roncesvalles. A favorite pastime on a Camino is stopping and taking photos of all the animals that are sometimes in your way. Everybody knows which direction to head on the Camino, right? Just under that herd of cattle, can you see the pilgrims going over the pass? I wonder what happens to them when they get to the top. <laughs> I'm afraid you're not going to the TED either. I am getting worried. Hey! Right there, now stop, stop right there, oh! Here's what happens when you get to the top of that pass in reality. You just keep climbing. We've been asked if crossing the border from France to Spain is difficult. And the answer to that would have to be no. Um, we didn't even realize we did it. Somewhere in the last kilometer we crossed the border. There was no sign, there was no marking. Um, but it has been so windy, like 30 mile an hour winds. Sustained. we've had our head down and just pushing through. So who knows, but there really isn't a sign. We've never seen one. At least not yet. I mean, if you, if you see one and you know where it is, Leave it in the comments. So we just passed the Fountain of Roland, which is right there behind us. And uh, we know at that point we're in Spain, but I guess somewhere 
Ahead of us, okay. there's more horses and the Col de la Parder, which is our third highest point of the entire Camino. And then it's all downhill. Vamos. Today has had, without a doubt, a vast variety of views. We're now in this amazing beach forest. The nice part is, even though we've been around a lot of people, we've had a lot of moments where we felt totally alone, like right now. It's wonderful. I mean, there's a couple of pilgrims way up there in the distance. I don't see anyone behind us right now. And that's, it's been a lot like that a lot today. And then you get to, like, we had a stop. There was a van on the side of the road selling bananas and Aquarius and even hot coffee. And with him, you met up with all those pilgrims again. But then, you know, you leave and spread out again. So it's really nice to meet up with people and have time by ourselves. We have made it to the Col de la Perda. Yay! That is the third highest point on the Camino de Santiago. And we have walked about 11, 12 kilometers to get here. So this means we're done, right? I mean, if we no. made it to the highest point, we have to be done, right? We have five kilometers to go. And 500 <laughs> meters down in that five kilometers. So it's pretty steep going back down. Um, we've climbed about 700 meters to get here. We're at 1400 meters right now. Give or take a little. Bothering us, but we can see mountains for days. And so the views have been great. The wind on the other hand, well, she's in a mood today. Yeah. And um, I'm really not liking her mood. I don't think I ever complain about a headwind when we're hiking. Today, I wanted to complain. I wanted to, and only did a little bit, a little complain bit. about the headwind. Because there, was, there were times where we were literally like head all the way down, just looking at the ground, trying to take one, put one foot in front of the other. We've had our lunch break. Now it's time to strap these packs back on and get down this mountain. Vamos! Tucked right down into the trees there is Roncevalle. The lowest village, a little set of buildings, not the upper one. Yeah, out in the middle of that field is a bigger town, but Roncevalle, the Valley of Thorns. And we're staying in that gigantic building <laughs> right there. All right, vamos! Bury yourself beneath the stone. I said that Rosa Party told me don't pretend Cause everyone could use a friend sometimes Take some good advice Don't let your fear decide That's how you break inside You don't need to worry Somebody is waiting down the line To pick up the pieces Hey, you'll be alright to our quarters for tonight. Now we told you, if you watched our video series about like what we were gonna do different, we said we were gonna do some bunk rooms. And I think this is like the ultimate bunk room. So this is my bed, as Brian is learning right now, though he already knew. This is Brian's. We don't know who we're sleeping, sleeping next to. We have these two little closets back here. And they lock. Oh, they're big. Oh, yeah, plenty of space. And a little power cord. Yeah. And think, uh, laundry, showers, downstairs. Downstairs. For three euros, you can wash four euros dry. So if you can at least wash, give everything a good clean. And then dinner is at seven tonight. Mass at eight. We hope you enjoyed the first couple of days of our Camino 2023. It's been an adventure so far. So far it has, it always is. So check out our next video when we're walking on to Zubiri and then Pamplona, the home of Hemingway and the running of the bulls. So don't